Well, there's no such thing as quite unique. <laughs> uh, question number two, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, thank you, sir. My question is to the Prime Minister. Does she stand by all of her government's statements and actions? The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, on behalf of the Prime Minister, yes, particularly those actions which have seen our economy thrive, leading to a rate of unemployment of 3.9 per cent. The lowest figure since the Labour New Zealand First Confidence and Supply Government a decade ago. Supplementary, will new information being looked at in the Carl Schrobeck case include the burglary of his estranged wife's house just days after Schrobeck learnt it had gone on the market? Uh, Mr Speaker, all the information will be looked at that was available at the time that he should have been exported from our country, according to the evidence starting to emerge now, and was not. Sorry, and was not. And I can say that over 150 decisions were made by the previous government of that nature, of that nature, and after 2014, those decisions were made by not the minister, but the same officials that advised Mr Ian Lees Galloway. Will the investigation look at whether police have questioned Carl Schrobeck about a break-in at his estranged wife's house? Mr Speaker, again, all the information that should have been available to this minister and which will be available now and should have been available because of the way it was being handled by certain people in the bureaucracy and clearly, maybe not, and which was, and which, and which was the reason that the 19th of September letter from the Honourable Ian Lees Galloway is loaded with caveats as to whether or not he's told the truth. Supplementary, has the Prime Minister changed her mind from yesterday when she declared it wasn't the official's case and can we take it from her answers today that she is now blaming them? Well, let me make it very clear the Prime Minister is not one to rush to make a, a, a judgment on other people, <laughs> unlike some. Unlike some, but she, but she wisely pointed to the fact that there has to be a reason for this mistake, and personally, I think we found it. Order, order. I'm just going to do the reminder now on the on the on behalf. We've got to get the persons right. Supplementary. Has she been informed about any recent intimidation by Carol Schrobeck? The Prime Minister is relying upon the inquiry that has been appropriately ordered by the Minister for Immigration, and when that inquiry is complete, we'll all be a fave with the information which we must say should have been available to us from the word go, but was not. Because, oh, that's why. Mentry. Does, as she described it today, absolute discretion also mean absolute responsibility? Well, I don't know why we're having this Philadelphia lawyer type of argument about what it means. Uh, we believe in common sense and plain facts. And the plain fact is that the minister, the minister was relying upon the same people that made over 152 decisions of the previous government, and he was entitled to rely upon an officialdom properly, adequately and fully prepared to advise him. We're finding out now we're finding out now what happened, and when we do, rather than make some cheap political points, we'll own up to the party who was mainly responsible, and we're looking at it. It sits over there. Three. If, as the Prime Minister just described, they are looking at plain facts, isn't it the plain fact that her Minister of Immigration didn't ask the right questions and instead has given residency to someone who has committed passport fraud, forced a family into witness protection, continuously lied to officials and has been convicted of drug smuggling? To those four questions are no, 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 no. But the one where there's a yes was, the one that is a yes on behalf of the Prime Minister, the one is that, a yes, that is a yes is which was the party that enabled him to travel offshore despite all of those matters of grave concern they exhibit now? And that party was the National Party. Question number three, Willow Jean Prime. Thank you. My question.